a video game which allows players to embody a Nazi SS officer at an Auschwitz-like concentration camp and decide which prisoners to send to the gas chambers is being investigated. The upcoming game, named Cost of Freedom, is reportedly being developed by Ukrainian company Alien Games and is being investigated by Poland's Institute of National Remembrance IPN, and the District Prosecutor's Office in the Polish capital Warsaw. Its trailer has been posted online and features players being able to order to send prisoners for disinfection at a concentration camp similar to Auschwitz. Dot the trailer goes on to show that players can choose whether they want to play as rebelling prisoners or as Nazi guards with violent scenes showing prisoners being burned and lying dead by the camp's fence. Share this article Share Lukas Lapchinsky, the press spokesperson for the district prosecutor's office, revealed that evidence is currently being collected in an investigation into the crime of insulting the Polish nation and promoting a fascist regime. The Institute of National Remembrance decided to submit an application to the prosecutor's office after a modification was made to the game's trailer which used the wording, Polish concentration camps. Where is the honor of this great Polish nation? Where is your honor, you Polish dogs? The game reportedly makes repeated references to Polish death camps, which is highly offensive phrasing in Poland. The camps were located in occupied Polish territory and run by the Nazis. Designating the death camps as Polish instead of Nazi has resulted in German media being asked for an official apology by the Polish government. Y. Bronowski cited the connection of Dmitry Dibin, who Y. Bronowski claims has been working for Russian television stations since 2012, with Alien Games. The game is yet to be released, and the developer's website says it is coming soon on popular gaming platform Steam, owned by the Valve Corporation. Unconfirmed reports also mention that the indie game is scheduled for release in December 2018. It is unclear what action, if any has been taken for it to be banned. The investigation is ongoing.